right. Flag bus right here. Look at the entire crew shot. I don't want to be exposing myself to their spawn. See anything down there. SU 85's coming with us. Siri on my phone is talking to me. The two uh, Panzers coming this way. Let's get into a more suitable location. Thank you for showing me your side. That worked out for the best. Okay, there's a three coming this way. We're side scraping. He's distracted. We're in a good spot. I don't want to push into the park right now. It's like, oh, are we going to the park? I, I did a bad thing there. It was pretty stupid of me. I should have gone for his turret first. Hmm. Not ideal, but we got him. Open oh, for Right. Something's behind that wall there too. Oh, he knows. This guy knows. Got shot by somebody. I have no idea who. Oh, we are going to die in this murder. Okay, I got a couple of crew members out. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, I'll take the seven kills. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the T-34E STZ. And if you've been living under a rock doing the intelligent thing and not actually playing War Thunder, you won't know that this thing has had an insane buff due to volumetric shells. Now, yes, before the buff, this thing was still pretty good at bouncing shots on its upper front plate. And there's a good reason for it too. It has 15mm additional plates welded to the front. So basically what that means is... No more Panzer IV F2 easy one-shots on your T-34. At 500 meters, this thing is an absolute lottery to pen, and if you angle it, it makes it very difficult for it to kill you. Now, don't worry, this thing isn't impenetrable, its turret is actually very weak. Which means whenever you're in engagements and you're in this tank, you need to be wiggling around, making things as awkward as possible for the enemy to kill you. Which leads us to one of this vehicle's main strengths. It's fast. It's very mobile, it gets around the battlefield no problem at all. And that combination in War Thunder, trolley armour and fast and wiggly is a really good combination indeed. Now this vehicle sits at 4.0 and is probably one of the most balanced T-34s in the game. And the reason for that is small PP syndrome. Now to me personally I use this BR350B MDA fuse shell. This can go through almost 100mm of armour, however at angles it still does very well. There are of course many different shell types you can bring out as well, but I mainly bring out this shell. Now the other traits this thing suffers from are the obvious Russian ones. It only has negative 5 degrees of gun elevation, and we only have 4 crew members inside the tank. But as long as you keep moving and don't really stop, this thing is a pain in the ass to kill. Now for our aircraft, if things don't go well in the T-34, I'm bringing out the P-63A5. This is a premium I've had for not a very long time, and I haven't really brought it out before. This thing gets a 500 pound bomb underneath the belly, that's a US one. And we get a 37mm cannon with a HE shell. Sprinkle in 450 cals and you've got yourself a very nice cast fighter. And of course the old big gold IL-2M 1943. Now in the next couple of games I followed the doctrine of kinda keeping myself mobile. And things went very well. Let's get into it. Okay, Frozen Pass. Now this is one of these map setups that your spawns are really close. I just want to test something out. We're at 4.7, which is bad. But let's go just straight towards the enemy. We're against the allies this time. I want to see if we can bounce a few of the 75s. I think maybe like M10 and stuff are obviously going to give us trouble. And the 17 pounder will as well. I'm going to get to this church though. See if we can stop the allies pushing this flank. Now, gun depression is going to be a major enemy. But shoot, speed is our ally. So, oh my god, the 100 ping hitting physics objects is not good for your mobility. He spotted me. It's a bad shot too. 
He's got much quicker reload than me. Almost five seconds. And that's the buffed turret Sherman too. Hmm, this... I think this wall is like almost solid. I don't want to get flanked here. Okay, we'll match that side. That's his gunner. Hmm. Yeah, I think my APHG is actually getting set off on this wall. That'll hit. Something else is coming here too. Another Sherman. He's dead. The man just lost his barrel. Okay. Here we go. Oh no. It's a real big gun that. Firefly. Right, at the risk of getting shot in the back. We're pushing. Oh, hello KV-1. M10 this side. There he is. Nope, that's not an M10. That should never have penned him, but it did. ARL. That's gonna suck, dude. Don't give me a perfect side shot. Okay, he bounced me. I'd like to get a clear visual on him. Oh, there he goes. Achilles! I bounced an Achilles. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense, honestly. I want that Sherman to push me. I don't want to have to push the Sherman. That artillery, I think, landed on his tank. Oh, oh, Chaffee. I missed him too. He just smoked. Oh, yes, he did. Gonna load up. This breach is technically out too, actually. Oh, we are dead. M10. I missed him. Unless he's spawn protected? Nope, he's not. The Sherman's about to kill me, probably. He's not repaired yet, I don't think. Okay, non pen. Okay, friendly got him. Damn, this was a brawl and a half. This guy's just down here too. Hasn't even noticed <laughs> or acknowledged my existence. How dare you? Right, let's go with our spawn. Things went incredibly well over this side, I don't know why. This <laughs> just happens from time to time. Cast all boy. Right. Well, this isn't our spawn, turns out. I just checked the map here. Oh no. Your child. Something's on the back of that hill. A lot of people are going to say, hey, you're spawn camping, but um, yeah, we have full map control. <laughs> We've got full map control. Chances are I'm going to find someone that's invincible. And they'll kill me, and I'm okay with that. Sherman there. Still spawn predicted. Bounced another shot. That's a much bigger boy coming here now. M10. Bad hit on him. Here comes the M10. Bounce the M10. 
<laughs> right, I've got a 14 second reload right now. There goes my barrel. Let's see if I can keep bouncing shots from my teammates that are back here. We got an air there, which is gonna do nothing. Oh, okay, this guy's getting aggressive. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> then the M10 got me. Damn, dude, nine kills? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, the power of angled armor. Oh, there's so many there. Okay, P63, let's go. If that 410 has a big enough bomb, that's gonna be at least two kills. Let's see if it pops up with three. That was bombs. Nothing. Okay. F6F just crashed. There's an enemy plane coming in as well. I'm oh, sorry. I, with my left hand, I was petting my dog. So I wasn't uh, able to hold my C key to look around. <laughs> Right, 410. Get in there, dude. Three enemy vehicles. Let's get Sherman boy out. Oh, there's a couple there in the spawn too. Right, okay. M482, I would say, is one of the more dangerous ones. I've seen an enemy plane coming in. Oh, he's going out. Okay, dokey. M10 stun. Give the allies a taste of their own medicine with 50 kills. I think we might be able to pen that lead. Oh no, I hear... I hear more than one plane over here. There's an M16 down there too. One of these planes is coming back. Oh, they're flying in formation. Very clever. Let's try and dodge number uno. Okay, good. One more here. Okay, pilot's out. That guy's going to land, I think. This dude's coming back in. Is that a P-47? Well, I'm not entirely sure what that is, actually. It probably is a P-47. I've no idea what to do in this scenario. Oh, wow. Okay. We're getting tagged now. If I had altitude to work with, we'd be okay, but I don't. Look at this enemy airfield, by the way. Not even firing at me. This is not good. <laughs> this is not a good decision. In my opinion. No, we're just holding steady. Is that the SPA shooting at me now? Yeah, it is. Oh my god, dude. The, the amount of time we managed to survive over here. There was an F6F behind me. Damn. Okay, experiment completed. <laughs> Let's go IL-2. The enemy have managed to get on A. An I-16 is over there. Now, that F-6F I'm imagining is going to land. I don't know if that was the same guy. I don't see him, honestly. M4 died. And now the cap is being contested. Oh, there's quite a few enemies here. We might get a decent carpet bomb run. Oh, that's a M16 or something here. Oh, bomb should be good. There we go. Got a double. Got a churchy. There's a Chaffee there as well. M16 died, thank god. By the way, he wasn't firing at any of us in the air. This is all made too easy right now. Friendly on the cabs, that Panzer 4J. He's about to die to whatever this is. That looks like a Churchill as well. He just died. And that looks like game. We've got nothing else to come back with. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, this was a game and a half. <laughs> right, Pulland. Here we are. This is a 4 7 game, I think. According to my spawn point cost. I'm gonna head round near B this time. I'm trying to take different routes on maps because the gameplay is getting a wee bit stale for my liking. I keep getting similar maps too. So, we're gonna try a different route for once. I don't wanna get up close and personal. Get as many side shots as we can. We got through here pretty quick without any resistance so far. That's a dangerous thing if it's facing the right way. Something's here to my left. I heard them anyway. This is... Oh, hi. Find them. Okay. Good. I like this little hidey hole here. Okay, we got some nice peace and quiet for now. We got something over here shooting this way. Someone's up on the, the cliff ridge. That's a chonker. I have a gun and an engine. Well, hopefully this next shot is a kill shot so we can move on. That's the one. P3457 coming my way. Got another STZ here. Oh my goodness. Hello. He may just shot that guy. I'm gonna go for the thing that can kill me first. I'm just keep angled here. Hopefully this guy doesn't have a barrel. There we go. Right. Now I'd very much like to get out of here. Oh, there goes my gunner. What was that? A Hetzer. No ideal. Okay. Oh, there was a, a Sherman there too. Okay, we got a quick ace. Let's head up in the P63. That was a good old bonk. Right, let's see what happens here. Now, lesson learned with the airfield. So, the AAA does no damage anymore. Or very little, you don't even notice it. You can actually land on the enemy's airfield and nothing will happen to you for a long time. I don't know why that change was made, but it was. Probably to stop people just sitting on their runways at the end of games. I don't know why. It's a really odd thing. Now let's bomb this guy off this cliffside. Or it might even be as easy as 50 cal and whatever it is. I'll see. Sip him up. Yeah, we can 50 kill him. Got an assist on him. We got one guy down here as well. It looks like a Stuart, actually. Is that a Stuart? Yeah, it's a tiny boy anyway. Right, he's not doing so well. Two red crew members. One dead. I don't know if he's crew replenishing there or something. Okay, he's getting rocketed now. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. <laughs> Wait, Sherman here. Not dropping while he's moving. That would have been a waste of a bomb. Up and top boy there. He's getting bullied too. Sherman's done a great job. He's killing a lot of people. He obviously killed myself too. 
Now I reckon if we kill that guy he's gonna turn up in a very good fight here. Okay, that's enough damage to that guy for now. Chaffee's moving on to sea. And this Sherman... Okay, there's a Verbal Wind firing at us. This Sherman's moving on to A. Okay, let's see if we can lead this. It's looking good. Nope. We got him anyway. I thought that was far off, but no, that was pretty spot on. <laughs> it was pretty spot on. Wait, we don't got very many 50 cows left. That's fine though. We'll go for crits more than anything else, and then we can take our IL2 out if we need to. There's a kill. The good thing about the P63's 50s is that they're all over the place. You've got two in the nose and two far out in the wings. So whenever you're strafing ground units, you get a nice spread. Right, we still got our nose mounted 37, so. That's what we can use to hopefully take this aircraft out. I'm going for some speed. I'm not worried about enemy airfield anymore, not at all. He is committing. German IL-2. I don't think that has a rear gun on it, actually. Let's see if I can longball him with this cannon. It was close. Oh. You have lost his rudder, I think. There's a warble down here, too. There goes his tail. Warble wind seem very interested in me right now. They're all yours, see Hurricane. On your cell, as we say in Scotland. You're one on fire. There goes his gunner. Most of his turret crew dead. He's still got three crew members though. There he goes. We're all dead. Two guys on the B cap. 79 rounds left of 50. I don't think I can do much to this. Possibly P40 or something? That is a P40. I think this game is... Actually, there's plenty of enemies left. Where the heck are they all, though? This is... Not good. Where, where on earth? Oh, there's a... that Wibble's driving quite far away, actually. 109. Thought he was gonna pancake, but he didn't. Happy time. Oh, he's off. This Wibble one's probably gonna hit me, too. Oh, we're good. Be careful. I don't know if I'll catch this guy. I think my gun convergence is too high. I think I've set it to 800 by mistake. Oh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. That big cannon doing some work. Right, 13 cannon rounds. And 13 50 cal rounds. God, look at the amount of enemies that are left and I don't know where they all are. They're obviously on C or one is. There's three in that spawn now. One's a Warble Wind I can see there. The other Warble Wind's back in the trees there. I mean, what are you fighting? Two things. Can I do anything with my 50s? That's the question. Help our brother out. Nope, oh, I missed him. Ah! <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> no, Warble. No way. There we go, Yag7 coming in. And a key 61. Right, now we can go land.
Right, breaking. Let's keep our cannon going. Should slow us down a wee bit. And we're done. Yes. Okay. I don't think we'll get back in the air in time. Oh, that's not good. Okay. And that looks like good game. Ah, okay. So, hey, guys. Thank you very much for watching my videos and leaving likes, comments and stuff. If you ask questions, I generally try to reply to everybody that's in the comments section. So don't be shy at all. Also, a massive thanks to the supporters over on Patreon, everyone who's over there, especially the tier 3 guys, Big Bearded Moose, Gross Admiral, Justin Darlin, Nate J, The Fire Piper, Mr. Warpig, who's new there as well, Yogbo, and Sexy. You guys are one of the main contributing factors to me being able to afford the new hardware at the end of the month, and I'm sure it means a lot to everyone else, as well as myself. So the T-34 ESTZ Sting is a fantastic medium tank. It gets backed up with a lot of 4.0s as well, and vehicles that are lower BR. We've got things like the KV-1 Sport, even the KV-1 L11, KV-2, we've got the SU-57B, even the Zis-30 is a good boy to bring out. I wouldn't even be shy either of bringing out the T-34 1942, and you have a plethora of aviation as well, including the Yak 9T. Now, 4.0 will guarantee you will never face a Tiger or a Panther D, which is a very nice thing <laughs> to have secure in your mind. And in my opinion, 4.0 is one of the best balanced battle ratings in the entire game. Armour works, but not too well. The guns are great, but not too great. And there are equal cast options in every single nation. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Much love. And bye bye